God bless you, God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. He is our sweet Savior and Master and Shepherd. Please stay with me. A very interesting uh, teaching by the mercy of God. And um, a very, 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 very interesting. The Lord put things together and by this became this uh, a crane teaching right who then can be saved is a um, question a um, question from Petrus and um, if you don't know this question in life this a uh, very very um, big question who then can be saved God will and I believe for all of us otherwise if you don't can ask this question then you are by your own effort already in heaven that's most of the times if you speak not believers or believers or Christians they but I do my I I do good deeds. The, I'm good man. I'm so doing good. Then you have not the question who then can be saved. And God will bring you, I believe, for all of us, in in in, in, in a uh, situation in life, maybe for a long time. So you will wonder and ask yourself, Lord, it's impossible what you ask for me it's too difficult and I want to read the scripture what uh, the Bible teaches us the same thing what I share with you and also I want to share with you what is this work out it's very very awesome to understand this uh, that is not only uh, this nice to what I deliver now to you this nice it's also sharpened you and um, let me say this if you don't i think so uh, all in life if we lost this question in life then we are in a different place why we are living in a different world a different difficult world a, a dangerous place and it's not always easy to do the will of god and if you are so holy <laughs> then maybe i don't speaking to you but if you are so perfect i don't speaking to you but uh the, we need the lord and the lord will work something out and let things happen so you will see i can do it by my own i can i need the lord and that is what the lord want to work out right and uh, I want to read a scripture uh, from the scripture and please stay with me uh, is a very nice uh, teaching with an, a deep understanding about understanding hi <laughs> um, for Shaka wonderbar it's a long reading and it's Luke 18 Luke 18 and it's I want to start from from the first 15 and it's very amazing that Jesus begins uh, I want to begin this with the child and maybe I point this out but it's very interesting and they brought unto him all the infants the children that they would touch him it's amazing the child's uh, the children they want to touch him mm. <laughs> but when his disciples saw it they rebuked them but jesus called up unto them him and say suffer suffer little children to come unto me and forbid him not for of such is the kingdom of god it's an entrance it's an it's it's an and an, it is a principle very i say unto you whatsoever i shall not receive the king of god as a little child so in no wise 
enter therein. 18, verse 18, and a certain ruler asked him, and that's very key now, a certain ruler asked him and say, Good master, what shall I do to inherit, inherit eternal life? He called him good master, and Jesus said unto him, Who calls thou me good? Think about it. How many times you in life meet people in the world and they say, "I'm a good person." That's that's we don't. I don't want to judge these people, uh, but uh, listen what Jesus say: None is good save one that is God. Only God is good. Jesus is speaking also of him about himself and say, "God is only good." How much? more we have to be careful that we are um, say to ourselves i'm good let god say that i'm good that my deeds are good and that that he he is my judge don't mislead yourself and um it's 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 it's, it's, it's dangerous right i want to go on uh 20 20 verse 20 Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor the father and thy mother. And he say, all this have kept from my youth up. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's, and then you also see this principle is already worked out. He was rich, very rich. Now when the Jesus hear these things, he say unto him, yet lacketh thou one thing. Sell all that thou last hast, and this 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 tribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have a treasure in heaven. It's amazing. And come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hard he saw they have riches enter into the kingdom of God. For this is a situation you can you can see it only with riches with money or buildings but also with any riches in life the question is can you give it up and God will bring you with your riches it's the same same thing what is happening with Abraham can Abraham give his riches up for God think about this And then say Jesus, and it is shocking, uh, um, and God will bring you, <laughs> I believe for all of us, for it is easier to come to bro to go to a needle eye than for a rich man to enter in a, in into the kingdom of God. And again, riches is not only money. And they that hear it say, who then can be saved? Yes, that's the question. If you don't have this question in life, then, <laughs> then I pray for you, you that the Lord will bring you to this question. And he said to these things that which are impossible, where are, uh, listen, 27. And he said, Jesus say, the things which are impossible with men are possible with God. And that's the key, that God will bring you on a point that you will see that God make it possible and Peter said lo we have left all and follow day and he say unto them very I say unto you there is no man that have left house this riches or parents riches or brother riches or wife riches or children riches for the kingdom of God's sake who shall not receive many fold more in in this present time when you are <laughs> listen to me and the upcoming weeks years maybe and in the world to come life everlasting it's for now and and prosperity and for and riches in heaven Think about this, that you receive this teaching 
listen, this is very, very powerful, that God can res bring you in a certain situation, the same as this, this one, and you receive this scripture, this script, what God writ is written, have written for you, so you can enter in this scripture, in this chapter of your life, in the season of life, so you will find out it is not possible. It brings you on your knees. It brings you in crying. It, it, it breaks you. And then is the then is the, the promise in uh, verse thirty that you are receive many fold. Fold. This is amazing. Think about this. God will bring you, but there is a key. I want to give you a key. There is there is a separation from things in this scripture. There is something going on in this scripture. There is children. There is riches. There is the teacher Jesus himself, and then is Peter, and he say I do, I did all the good deeds, and he see he see he, he was frustrated. He was in pain, and he saw by himself. For the first time, maybe that he he see. How is it impossible? It is not possible. I I can I can do it. I I can't do it by myself. And that is the separation. That he saw there is something going on. It's impossible. And God will give you wisdom, so you can separate things and you can, can you can discern and can see what is. To do and also that you need God in these things. This is, this is very important what I deliver you. I want to round it up with the last scripture. And please read it for yourself a couple of times. And have patience with the word of God. Right. I want to share a scripture from the great teacher. So they teach us what I uh, already uh, share with you already delivered to you is wisdom god will bring you in a in, 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 in a situation impossible in impossible situation so you will can receive wisdom and the bible teaches us ask about ask wisdom a, a god to uh to god from god in a certain situation and don't waver james one and ask it without no no doubt and you will receive. And this situation is a very script, um, uh, first uh, scripture that shows us that if you are willing to and teachable, that you can receive from God wisdom in this situation, this season in your your own life. Right. I want to read it so it make clear. And. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse, I want to begin verse 16. I com commun I communicate, I communicating with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and I have gotten more wisdom and, than all they have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And other scriptures say, other translations say this, my heart don't only experience, but also see it. That means there is an experience in, in thoughts and in emotions. That means if these thoughts and emotions come together, you can see it. And your seeing is makes sense. That gives you an understanding. The knowledge and wisdom comes together. It's a cooperation by the Spirit. And then you understand what is going on in the scripture, what is going on in my own life. So, listen. 17. And I gave my heart to know. You gave your heart to God to know wisdom and to know madness and fully. This is a very difficult for a lot of people and for all mankind that you will acknowledge, you will no, you will see your own madness and your fully. I perceive that it's also a fixation of the spirit. 
it's a tormenting of the spirit it's a very painful for the spirit to step give your heart to wisdom and knowledge so the knowledge from the word of god will teach you and, le and will s let you know feel experience what is going on in your own life and you will s that that shows you your madness and your fully how you behave you in such situations what complete it, madness can can be madness and that makes you f so painful uh, for 18 for i march wisdom is much grief and that is increased knowledge increased sorrow that is what going on by peter peter say lo we have left all follow day who then can be saved by this question if you can ask this question to yourself you receive wisdom in a certain situation right this is <laughs> i want to round it up now there's more in this but i this is my point what i have to deliver right hmm i feel the anointing that the lord is happy uh please share this message so many times uh, if you can't and like uh, share my channel so other people can also be blessed that the lord keep you and bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ